Hi, right, Stockmaster fans. Another review from my previous channel from this Fast Company DVD from David Cronenberg. We're going to watch the movie Stereo. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with a helicopter landing. There is very, very little dialogue, very, very little sound in this movie. Hence why you cannot hear the helicopter. And as quickly as it landed, it leaves, leaving this fellow behind. In general, a study of the varying dimensions of human experience in the context of man in his society is known as human social cybernetics. We then follow this guy as he wanders around, which appears to be a university campus, probably on summer break. Telepathic dependency is an extreme form of psychic addiction. Institute phase of the induced telepathy series. Side. A subject possessed of a statistically excessive dependency susceptibility quotient wounded himself in the forehead. That looks like a candy bar. The use of this approach, particularly in the new social sciences, where variables are infinite and complexity is of the highest possible order. The nature of erotic research requires that the sexual emotional involvement of the researcher with each subject be taken to its farthest possible extreme. This film offers a couple of nude scenes, including this woman here I couldn't show you. It was hoped that many important questions would be clarified, if not answered, during the course of our experiment with two of the eight subjects consented to having portions of their larynx removed, making it physically impossible for them to speak. The agglutinizing impetus, Tarot cards. which induces the initial conglomerative motion, as Stringfellow notes in defining the nature of dominance, the will of the newly formed conglomerate must necessarily be a function of the will of the dominant personality. Perhaps the most boring locker room scene in cinema history. In psychic research, the emotional distance between the researcher and his subject is inevitably diminished until it is no more than the distance between any two persons. I admit I have no clue what's going on. There is some thing. evidence to suggest that potential telepathic intensity varies indirectly as the square of the distance between two telepathists. There's a man and woman walking down the hallway. He has no shirt on. She barely has a top on. And now we're walking. Next thing you know, they're making out on a table. Still dressed. For those of exponentially maturing telepathic capacities, the question of phenomenological refinement must inevitably become one with the problem of the internalization of the sensory. Time to run. Academy research has established that both heterosexuality and homosexuality are equally what might be termed perversions. Relative. Now I watch them enjoying the snack. Fascinating. If of our eight subjects were combined to another in an enforced session. community study. These five subjects, although psychochemically the least volatile of the group, almost immediately retreated into a state of self-encapsulation. 
meditation and an eye. Another top list. Measures were introduced to prevent further instances of interruption caused by frustrated telepathic dependency. Uh Our movie now nears its end. She slow motion walks away. And so ends stereo. All right. Let's talk about this movie. Stereo, a David Cronenberg film. It might be his first film. It was basically a student film that he uh, filmed when he was uh, in college, I believe. It's, uh, I don't remember all the details about it. I remember reading about it several years ago about that. But um, it's available as a bonus on this Fast Company DVD, along with the movie uh, Crimes of the Future, the original Crimes of the Future, which I re or reviewed already. Um, I really don't know how to even review or even talk about Stereo because I don't understand it. I don't get it. It's a real short film, 62 minutes long. It's about some, uh, some sort of experiment, an erotic something or other, where uh, they remove these people's ability to uh, talk but it gives them some sort of telepathy, I guess. I don't know. And then we see all these weird images of this guy walking around. It's basically walking around a college campus uh, when apparently there was no school in session at this time. I want to say it was like maybe during the spring break or Christmas break or something that this was done. I don't know. Probably not. Probably summer break, actually. It was Canada. But um, yeah, I don't get this film. It's black and white. There's just a lot of weird images in it. And uh, there's a there's mostly no uh dialogue in fact there is no dialogue in this movie it's what sounds we do hear are just narration from somebody and even when there's other things happening there's literally no soundtrack we don't hear somebody walking down the hall um we don't hear helicopters or anything we just hear nothing there's nothing going on but occasional narration there's a few nude scenes thrown in um some talk some some babble about uh, uh experiments and this and that again I don't even know how to begin to tell this story because I don't understand this movie. I didn't like it. I was bored by it. It was only 62 minutes long, but it's a long 62 minutes. Some of these scenes just go on forever and without any dialogue, you just, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think some people do like this movie, although honestly, I think they only like it because David Cronenberg directed it. People like David Cronenberg, therefore they're going to defend something like Stereo. And, um... Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, people have said that there's, you know, some imagery in here which kind of looks very David Cronenberg-ish from some of the future stuff that he did, and maybe there is. Um, but it's definitely an early work, and uh, he got better. I'll just, I'll just say that. I don't, I don't get this film, but maybe you will. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I got nothing else to say about it. I just didn't care for it. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, I think this has been released on Blu-ray since then. It may have gone out on... Uh, I don't. I doubt it has its own separate Blu-ray. It probably was an extra on maybe the Fast Company Blu-ray. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't just... I don't like this movie. I don't like it. Maybe you do. Maybe you tell me why I'm wrong. I don't know. I Whatever. Anyway, it is stereo. I will leave a link to something down below. If there is a Blu-ray, I'll link that down below. If not, you can get it as an extra on this Fast Company DVD or, uh, with uh, Crimes of the Future on it as well. Fast Company is a pretty good movie. I didn't really care for Crimes of the Future um, or Stereo, but Fast Company is kind of fun. Check it out. Leave some comments. Explain the damn movie to me. It's Stereo. Watch it. Bye. I'm not going to watch it again.